Welcome to Humphreys of Henley TV, Countryside Concierge at its finest, and a fabulously warm and sunny welcome to Salisbury. We have had the most glorious weekend in this beautiful little city, in the, right down in the heart of, of Wiltshire. It really is just lovely. And right at the moment, what you can see behind me is the old Salisbury. I think, I might be wrong, but I think it is the only city that has physically moved completely to a different site. So the new Salisbury is actually a couple of miles down the road because they had real problems with water supplies and um, it's a bit windy it's not too bad today but it's a bit windy um, up, up here so they uh, they moved it um, to the site where it is it is today so old Sarum as it's known and new Sarum which is where the new Salisbury is um, are just about a couple of miles apart but you can see the old site um, and we'll be showing you the old site of the of the old cathedral uh, that was here because it was formed as a um, an Iron Age fort back in 400 BC, so uh, quite a long way back in, uh, in history. Now the new Salisbury, um, if you can call something that's 800 years new, um, is absolutely beautiful and the cathedral um, which was due to celebrate its 800th birthday this year in 2020 it's absolutely beautiful it's magnificent and they had all sorts of celebrations planned for for the cathedral but sadly obviously because of circumstance it hasn't happened but uh, we were lucky enough to see these beautiful pieces of, of modern art that are all surrounding the whole um, all of the grounds of of Salisbury Cathedral. So for a history lover like me, I am in my element this weekend. For art, architecture, um, it's, it's, there's, there's something everywhere you, um, everywhere you look. We're really close, about nine miles from Stonehenge, from Amesbury and uh, where the site of Woodhenge is. So there is all sorts of history at, at every turn. There's also a rather beautiful house that used to belong to Ted Heath, who was Prime Minister from 1970 to 74. And he was a great art collector as well, a passionate sailor. Um, and his house, Arundel's, is just beautiful and well worth visiting because of all of the sailing memorabilia everywhere and, and, um, and so on. So it's really had some movers and shakers who've, um, uh, who've lived in the town. Clarendon Palace is also well worth um, a visit. Now, um, it was Henry the Second and Henry the Third who really spent a lot of money on on developing the site of Clarendon Palace, and uh, the story has it that it was the last place that Henry the Second met Thomas a Becket in person before he uttered those fateful words of "Will no one rid me of this?" Well, sorry, will anyone rid me of this tiresome priest? Um, um, which obviously led to the ultimate death of, of Thomas Beckett. It's now um, it's now a ruin, but well well worth um, well worth a visit. Now Salisbury Cathedral is absolutely wonderful and you do have to uh, book a visit nowadays um, online which is, is wonderfully easy to do and we certainly recommend that, that you do it. It's got the most incredible font um, in, inside which is a fairly new addition, I think about 10 years or, or so ago, but well worth having, having a look. And the now, dare I say it, infamous spire of Salisbury Cathedral which is 123 metres high and I think I'm safe in saying is still the tallest spire in, um, in England. But sadly, the um, Salisbury Cathedral and that spire became rather infamous with the, um, uh, the, the poisonings that happened uh, a couple of years ago and the Russians claimed that they had come to visit the spire that was 123 metres, uh, metres tall. Now the cathedral is also home to uh, one of four copies of the Magna Carta um, and apparently it's the best preserved copy. It's been there since 1215 which is, uh, which is going some um, and that was the agreement between King John and the uh, rebellious barons that um, uh, many say is the founding uh, document of our, our modern day democracy. Um, it certainly had had a huge part, um, a huge part to play. But the Magna Carta is is quite quite special and and quite magnificent. 
So stately homes, art, um, architecture, um, you name it, Salisbury absolutely has it. It's about um, an hour and a half or so from, um, from London. There are some beautiful hotels to stay close by. I mean, you could certainly do it uh, from London in a day, but if you're going to fit in uh, Salisbury and Winchester, which we will do another episode from, and Stonehenge and so on, then it's probably worth doing at least one, one overnight. And you've got Heckfield Place, one of our favourite hotels, just a hop, skip and a jump away, the Four Seasons and, um, and so on. There's some also uh, rather fabulous um, garden opera um, that is very close by down at um, West Greenhouse and, um, and so on. So I hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Salisbury as much as we've enjoyed um, being here. Please like, please share the video if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, so you make sure you don't miss out on any other episodes of, um, of Humphreys of Henley TV. Thanks so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next week.